let it flow It floats back to you to 1986, the biggest stars of the day lined up to board the love boat, one of our favorite shows. Kent, we grew up with this. Yes, yesterday the original cast received a special honor from the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Yes, and joining us now, we've got Captain Steubing, otherwise known as, of course, Gavin McLeod, Vicki, who is Jill Whelan, Julie, Lauren Tweez, Isaac, Ted Lange, Dr. Bernie Copel, and the lovable gopher, Fred Grant. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. We were saying this was our show growing up. I mean, we watched hello. you, then Fantasy Island, which yes. was probably a show that we shouldn't have been watching back then. <laughs> oh, wow. But this show, what was it about this? 40 years, I can't even imagine it's been 40 years. The Gavin, show really gave people something to dream about. Yeah. You know, uh, they saw cruise ships for the first time in their lives, a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, but basically, cruising was just for the affluent before we came on the air. And we showed that ordinary people could take cruises, change their lives, have happy endings, and everybody wanted to do that, see destinations. And, yeah. you know, you saw it. I mean, it was very vicarious, I think. And uh, we had a ball watching it ourselves after we did it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm sitting next to Captain Steuben. Sorry, I just lost myself. I know. Oh my gosh! And the theme song. Here we go. I love it. The theme song. Nally and I have been singing it all morning. Can we can't sing it, but can you recite it? Can we just give me a couple lines? Love, love, exciting and new. Come aboard. We're expecting you. On the look. I thought it was exciting and nude, but then I heard it has been. It has been. That happened. What kind of a kid were you? That will be for the reboot. But let's be real. What goes on on the princess cruises? I mean, it's all about love. We're not at liberty to divulge that at the moment. We have non-disclosure agreements. You have to take a princess cruise to know what goes on on one. Okay, now wait. Did you shoot on cruise ships or were you in the set? Yeah, do you want to answer that? Sure. Go both. Ahead. We, we shot both places. Six weeks a year, we were actually on cruises with Princess, and we went on their different ships, and we saw the world. It was an incredible opportunity. And then we also shot the other half in studio. So people would come up to us and say, hey, the cabins aren't as big as on the <laughs> yeah. TV. What the hell's going on? But that's because we were shooting on set. Yeah. I love that fans actually were on cruise ships mm -hmm. with you all when you shot because... They, so they wanted to be a part of the show, too, right? Yes. You could buy your ticket and get a and cruise on the love boat. extra, a lot of extras. Yeah, they were big thing. It, excuse me. Go I, I, I got to tell you what it meant to me. I was in the Navy in a very no-frill situation, and when I got the love boat, it was so luxurious and so opulent, it just blew my mind. I said, wow, this is what I've been dreaming about. Yeah. And Princess... Took us all over the yeah. world. How was your pay grade? <laughs> <laughs> From being in the Navy. Navy to being on the love boat. How was the pay grade? It created my ability to hitchhike. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, there was no money in the Navy, of when, course. When we started the show, there were two princess ships. And the cruise industry was moribund. As a matter of fact, people thought, well, it's going to die out as our passenger list dies out. Princess now has 18 ships with three more being built, there is an entire cruise industry that has grown up because of this marriage between the love boat and Princess Cruises. And that really, I think, is the great dividend. For most of the yeah. people now, it is accessible. It's, it's something that you don't just have to watch on television. You can actually do it. Yeah. And I'm looking at you family. all. I'm I looking know. at you all and thinking the only one who's changed the most is probably uh, Jill. Because I want to call you by Vicky, because I know you by your <laughs> character names, because I feel like it's I grew okay. up with you, right? Do you get that all the time? I do. It's it's great, though. I mean, you know, yeah. people could come up and say not nice things, but they come up and say really lovely things. It's just, it's nice to be a part of people's childhood. You Jill know, was brought I said on. yesterday, you know, um, uh, Hollywood is known for the marriage is not sustaining. But there's been a great marriage between Princess Cruises and the Love Boat for 44 years, and there's no divorce in sight. <laughs> so things true. are great. 
Well, I'll tell you why. Because when you boarded that love boat, guys, you could solve a, a crime on the Lido deck. <laughs> right. There could be some love reunited. Charo yes. would dance around. Yes. And tell. I mean, you got a little bit of everything. The guest stars. Sit tight. We got to talk about guest stars yes. when we come back. Because you, from Tom Hanks on, the guest stars that would come and on. And Charo. And Charo. Much more Kuchi, Kuchi. with our love boat cast when we come back after these messages from your local station. Literally, I love it. The Lido deck was my favorite. We are back on Access Live with the cast of The Love Boat. Natalie and I are totally geeking out, and we were talking in the break. By the way, congratulations, this honor right here. Oh, 40 man. years, the Hollywood Whoa. Chamber of oh, Commerce right. yesterday. Thank you. Which, you know, 40 years goes by in a flash because this, we feel like we grew up with you all. Yeah. And Natalie and I were talking about all the reboots that are out. Would we ever do a reboot, but with the original cast? I don't like the reboots when you bring in new people. That's not a reboot. Yes. <laughs> we want you all. They better hurry up. Bernie and I are getting older. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for including me. <laughs> but would you consider it? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be fun. Come on, they talk yes, about well, it. Sure. Yeah, no, no, sure. No, that's the, yeah. Yeah. Guys, They're I want tired. a little more excitement. Has, has there yeah. been a pr has anybody approached and said, let's think about this? Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. What well, more can you tell us? We we're not we're not at liberty, liberty. to tell you no. all of these things. Go for. It. Are you kidding me right now? Is this really in the works? <laughs> I'm not at liberty to say to this. Isaac, you were telling us all. Though we He's know, Gopher you. tells all. Well. We can neither confirm nor deny. Let me let me just say that they're talking to Benedict Cumberpatch about. <laughs> I, and I wait. understand that there is a musical in the works, <laughs> possibly, because Geraldine Saunders, who wrote the, the Love Boat, yes. she says uh, she's talking about a musical. Oh. I love this yeah. idea. In on Broadway Vegas. or in Vegas? Vegas, I think. Vegas, wherever, oh. wherever. You know, they wanted to do that Radio City musical, wanted to do one summer, one of us would do a musical there. Oh, Did wow. you know that? Really? Yeah, many, when we were on, yeah. they yeah. wanted us one summer. It never reached the point of fruition. It would be great now that Jill. Of course, why not do it aboard? on the ships? The theaters are so large That's on right. these ships That's now. Right. Absolutely. And people like Stephen Schwartz are designing musicals for the ships so it's that's that's yeah, something that you could probably see yeah, except on board I can't sing. Yeah. you can't so, I, I don't really come on. Singing, but you can dance if, if, well, I, can, if I can say I this can about the, about the ships that are that are being built now it's as though the 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 leaders of a princess went around and asked what would you like to have that you don't have now and they incorporated all of these things to make it even more luxurious and comfortable but they don't the have a Captain Stubing no. and a no. Julie yes. McCoy and, and an Isaac and, 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 oh, and, and a Doc and a Top deck and a Vicky. Love so there you, you go. Medley. Okay. So well, they could do cardboard cutouts. No, 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 He's so hard to work with, right? Me, this oh, guy. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you could Buddies see even time. then, though, he had magic. And that was the beauty. We had, like, Billy Crystal and Martin yeah, Short. Absolutely. When the guys came on, you could see the magic yeah. and, uh, well, and the actresses. But you saw people that were on their way up. And we also had the older stars coming in. Fred and I used to take out the older stars to lunch and make them tell us stories about old Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Give us a good yeah. one. People like Ray yeah. Bolger and yeah. Jack Guilford. Phyllis and Stella Ethel was Merman. so much fun. Even oh, Ernie Saint. Yeah. 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 Uh, Olivia Shirley de Jones, all of these are Academy Award winners. Ernie Borgnine. Yeah. Olivia yeah. de Havilland yeah. from Gone with the Wind. My man. Ray 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 John Fontaine, told me the story that when she was doing Gone with the Wind, she, to play a joke on Clark Gable, she put on a sandbag around her waist. So you know when she gets sick and he has to carry her yeah. up the stairs, yes. they rehearsed it. <laughs> then she put the sandbag on, and then he went to lift her up, and he <laughs> nearly fell down oh the stairs. Goodness. So really cool stories like that. that. Yeah. So I, I think it's stories you can't that. get no. because they're yeah. not in the book, the Hollywood books. And they tell you kind of on the side, look, uh, you'll read this. That's not true. Here's what really happened. Mm. And that was the fun thing about doing our show. I, I always would. think like we, we love Charo. 
And she, I don't know how many guest appearances. Seven she, or eight. She yeah. holds yes. the record. Just seven or eight? No, I it felt so. like more. But they to were this all day, no one has ever understood anything she said. <laughs> <laughs> But it doesn't matter. Coochie, coochie. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Well, you know what happened, too, because you girls would like this. We became goodwill ambassadors for the United States because we went to, we started with England and we did all of uh, Paris and we did all those countries, Scandinavian countries. Then we did China, Russia we and China, Japan. Japan. Yeah. We, were China. we were all over Israel. We were all over Istanbul. We were all yeah, over the place. The we represented the United States. The it became really a the responsible the position. I love hearing You're our ambassador. It really was cool, yeah. Okay, we got to ask a relationships question. Oh, yeah. Doc, you had quite the reputation as the ladies' Doc? man. Doc! Were you the ladies' man in real life? I kissed so many beautiful <laughs> ladies. I got, I got a case. I got a, <laughs> I got a case of lip lash. Just <laughs> all those, just that like, was off camera. <laughs> on camera. <laughs> what a I hard got, job. I got so lucky. I got so lucky. I'd never been a leading man before. <laughs> Won't be long now. <laughs> Now we said 40 years. Do you guys all stay in touch? Because clearly yeah. the chemistry and camaraderie. Ted and I are there. doing a play together next year. Oh really? Yeah, Where? we're going to be doing uh, I'm Not Rappaport in Syracuse next year at the Red House Theater. Aww. Yeah, and Bernie, I write plays now. I've written 25 plays. Wow. Bernie's been in my play. Jill's been in my play. And uh, Tweez and I did Shakespeare together in uh, Reno. I just uh, wrote a George pilot. George Washington's he directed boy. It. I love George Washington's yeah. boy was honored where in the Denver? The Denver Post is Denver one Post. of the most American, uh, most important American place. There you go. So, well, I think you gotta stand up. You gotta stand up. Oh. No, oh. we're giving you a oh. 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 Standing oh. over, standing oh. up for you. Oh. It was our show. Oh. Guys, congratulations. Oh. We love the show. We love you all so much. Thank Thanks for being here.